Welcome into K-State Online. I am Mason Voth, joined by Derek Young, and it is a a significant time in K-State football. Yes, the regular season has ended. There isn't going to be another game for almost a month. K-State doesn't even know the opponent yet, but what they do know is that their quarterback for the rest of the way and uh, the foreseeable future, it will not be Will Howard, much to the I guess, uh, anticipation and and questions that people had out there. Will Howard has entered the transfer portal after four seasons at K-State. It is the end to a very complicated era that Will Howard has gone through with the Wildcats. Obviously, he has the peak of delivering a Big 12 title, uh, something that only two quarterbacks before him had done, two guys that are in the ring of honor at K-State. But then there were also the extreme lows that came with Will Howard's career, the first two seasons, and then uh, parts of this 2023 season that kind of disappointed in some ways. So Will Howard officially into the portal, and uh, there are a lot of different elements and parts of this story that are significant in one way or another, uh, but I guess we, we just start with uh, your your normal thoughts on the, the circumstances of Will Howard going into the portal. I think this is a good decision for both parties. I think if you're Kansas State, you got to – Keep your eye on the ball in multiple ways, right? Like we're trying to win now, but we also realize what we have, what we got to do. There's a lot of moving parts because I think all along, I think you're under the impression when you bring in a talented quarterback like Avery Johnson, and that's that's part of this calculus, you can only reasonably expect him to sit on the bench for a year. I think a second year was always going to be difficult to navigate, maybe even impossible to navigate. And when you're when you got Will Howard and you know it's it's a difficult situation because you have a proven starter who's won a big 12 championship that maybe drifted back a little bit underachieved so to speak. I mean he's still the school record holder for touchdown passes career he tied it for the single season a good player um but probably the right time for Kansas State to take a step forward into a different direction. And if you're Will Howard, maybe you didn't do enough to perhaps dip your toes into the water of the next, uh, you know, level, yeah. so to speak, in terms of the NFL draft. And and for him, it, even without that, it's probably more lucrative to play another year of college football and enter the transfer portal because of everything that kind of goes along with that, with the NIL and all the compensation that you can get in that form. So I just think a good choice for everyone involved. And I, I don't think that there's any bad blood here. I think Will Howard knew the situation, even if Avery Johnson were willing to sit another year, look, he he was nipping at Howard's heels this year. And you could tell that kind of was a difficult situation for them to maneuver around. Neither one I think was terribly comfortable with that. Imagine Avery Johnson a year from now when you expect a better, even better version of him. That's hard for Will Howard to hold off. So I don't think there's any bad blood. I think it was just two sides understanding the situation. And look, this is even more probably Ill, a better illustration of the fact that there is no bad blood. I think it's just a business decision on both sides with no bitter feelings. Is that I still expect Will Howard's little brother to enroll at Kansas State. Um, in the near future, he's going to sign with the Wildcats in December. And I don't think this will stunt that whatsoever. I think it's just, I think it makes sense for both sides. You know, I think it's a clean break. Look, you're, you're meant to go to college for four years, uh, a college football career lasts four years, sometimes five. Uh, and you know, with obviously the COVID year, Will Howard played a full four years at K State essentially. Uh, okay. and he never needed to use the red shirt in any of those years so he has the COVID year left he has that bonus year to use and I think it's you know okay things kind of just get to a point where it makes sense to move on and find Mm -hmm. a new home and and K-State obviously was in a position that it was going to be tough for Will Howard whether he came back and was the starting quarterback next year or not because of all the Avery Johnson stuff yeah I'll I'll let you finish your thought here because I just thought of something as well and and it's funny because I'm going to kind of make the comparison to professional free agency, but this is a lot what that's like anymore, right? The transfer portal and how that works. But like when you get it, we're fans of professional sports, the NFL, the NBA, MLB, free agency. Remember, 
this is a phrase used oftentimes, and I believe that we're probably both the believer in it. Sometimes a guy just needs a change of scenery. And this feels like one of those situations because you kind of you you love you love one another, but you also kind of in a way get sick of one another a little bit too, right? And yeah. sometimes you can leave the cuckoo's nest and flee and 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 maybe fly even higher. Now we'll see if Will Howard can do that. I'll be rooting for him because he's a really good guy. But this just feels like one of those like professional situations where it's like, man, they could probably do maybe a little bit more if they were a bit more comfortable. And, and uh, you're a little bit more comfortable when you get that change of scenery. Yeah. And I'm going to stop you there because it just broke. Will Howard just entered the portal. I need to do it. Okay, there you go. Well, right as we were getting ready for the information to come, Will Howard is, is he's truly officially in now. Look, it just makes a lot of sense for, for everything to go on here. Will Howard gave good four years to K-State, two of which the play was not necessarily the best, but he more than made up for it with what he did in 2022. And I think mostly what he did in 2023. And hey, look, he's a guy that's smart enough to understand what's going on. And, you know, he, he would have been good enough to be the quarterback at K-State next year. And in most normal circumstances, I think Will Howard is the quarterback at K-State next season. But you have a guy in Avery Johnson that has all this talent and everything else that comes in with it and the expectations, and we already saw the flashes. And it just it's not fair to either of those guys at this point in time. So it makes sense. And I think that Will Howard being the person he is and having an understanding of the game and everything else, he knows how to handle it. Now, in terms of legacy and everything else that gets left behind in this I think a lot of people will try and focus on the negative and the not so good with Will Howard because I know that there are a lot of people out there that have been like that uh, I appreciate the people that have been good over the last couple of days with you know recognizing hey that was probably the last time we saw Will Howard play at K-State and people thinking of the good and respecting him for the person he's been at K-State because he put up with a lot of crap from a lot of people myself included those first two years and it was warranted those first two years he did not play good football but that's that's on the player not the person he more than made up for it with the way he played in 2022 and certainly at times in 2023 what in your eyes is the lasting legacy for will howard and k-state and how how should he be remembered by k-staters just that it was a complicated career, maybe not a pretty ending or the most beautiful ending, but at the same time, a guy that broke school records kind of ushered in the beginning of the Colin Klein era, so to speak, not necessarily Adrian Martinez, but the Colin Klein era as offense coordinator was really Will Howard as quarterback. And the fact that he set the school records and he won a big 12 title his junior year. Yeah, I think the same thing. You, you, you remember the good there. Also just appreciate the fact that he was in a very – Tough circumstance, a fresh, a true freshman in college during the COVID year, had to start playing in game number three and take some lumps that a lot of true freshmen don't have to. Three-star quarterbacks from Pennsylvania, they can turn into Big 12 champions and one of the better quarterbacks in the Big 12, like Will Howard did. What they're not supposed to do is come in and have to be your starting quarterback for an entire season the very first year they're at K-State. Will Howard did that. It was tough. He got through it stuck it out to the other side, became a Big 12 champ, set career and single season records. And, you know, people can talk about how small the records are and how, you know, maybe easily obtainable they are. Here's the deal. Nobody broke the, nobody set those records beforehand or, or broke them beforehand. They were small for a reason. Guys at K-State, no matter how many good quarterbacks they've had, had not been able to achieve success in that area. Will Howard's touchdown records, they are significant. They mean something. And obviously being, you know, one of only three quarterbacks at K-State to lead the Wildcats to a national title, uh, that's something – or not a national title, a Big 12 title, that's something that should matter as well in the minds of everybody else. And, you know, put K-State in a national spot of relevancy last year when they beat TCU. They were a top-10 team. And he made a lot of things happen for K-State. So uh, I think uh, it, it, it's a complicated career and legacy. It comes to an awkward end because of the the tough loss to Iowa State that is not on Will Howard in my eyes. I mean, that that just was what's so unfortunate about Saturday night. And I think that's kind of what we saw from Will Howard and Chris Kleiman was so many things out of Will Howard's control led to K-State losing that game. Now, could he have been better? Yes, he could have. But 
it left a bad taste in everybody's mouth, and it's unfortunate he had to go out that way. Last question for you, D.Y. You've seen a handful of guys now since you've covered K-State. Is Will Howard a Ring of Honor guy? He has the records. He hoisted a Big 12 title as a quarterback. Is, is he going to be going into the Ring of Honor with Felix Anyadike, Uzama, Deuce Vaughn, and Cooper Beebe one day? Man, that's a really good question. You, you're making it tough on me uh, on purpose. I, I appreciate you for that. I, I have a hard time saying yes. I have a hard time saying yes. I, I, you know, I know people don't want to hear it in the moment, but I almost lean towards yes. I mean, how can you not have your touchdown leader and a guy that won your Big 12 title not be up there? I know that the legacy is complicated and everything else, but I think when people have some time to step back and look at it, they should be appreciative of what Will Howard did. And I, I don't know. I think some of the cachet might be there eventually. It's it's not a, a slam dunk. It's not a home run. I'm not going to be upset if he's never up there, but it's something to consider. So that will do it for Derek Young and myself, Mason Voth. Plenty more coverage on the Will Howard stuff and more transfer portal K-State news over on K-State Online with On3.